Hello everyone, this is the solution to the omitted question 8C of the Cambridge IGCSE paper 4-2 written in May June 2024. The question was blurry, hence I omitted the question. I just pasted the part C on this page. Kindly check the description section below the previous videos. There is a new link to download the new past paper. Let's jump into question A, C. The baker earns $8 for decorating a small cake and $12 for decorating a large cake. Use your diagram to find the largest amount the baker can earn in one day by decorating cakes. So let's go back to the previous page. So uh, this was my solution to Question 8a, we were given this information and we were asked to write the remaining inequalities, that is the three other inequalities. And after that, we were asked to um, draw these inequalities okay, on the grid and we are asked to mark the uh, region R, so which is this. So question 8c is meant for this shaded uh, for this region r labeled region r so what we need to do is very simple from here we need to get the maximum value of x don't forget that eight dollars is meant for x and twelve dollars is meant for y so as we've been told that the small cake is for x and then the large cake is for y so that implies that uh, we need to get the maximum value of x and multiply by eight dollars then plus we need to get the maximum value of y then multiply by 12 to get the to to uh, to find the largest amount the baker can earn in one day okay so this is what we need to do so this is uh, x maximum okay and this is y maximum okay so let's go back to the um, grid and look for the maximum values of x and y respectively okay so here we have the values for x and we have the values for y in this labeled region r okay so the maximum value of x should be on this line that is 16 so let's say this point here okay so this point okay because uh this point is part of the solution anywhere we have a broken line is not part of the solution okay so but if you look at the value of um okay this is one um point then another the point is this Okay, so that is uh, x equals to 15. Okay, so between this and this now, so which one should uh, which one should we uh, pick? Okay, so if you look at this, the value of x here is 16, but y is equals to 8. So um, if you look at the other one, the value of x is equals to 15. Okay, so and the value of y equals to 9. Okay, so this is a better option compared to this because this will give us uh, a larger number compared to this. Okay, so if you go back to this page now, so let's say uh, the maximum value of X is uh, 15. Okay, then the maximum value of Y is 9. So if you input this into your calculator, we have 15 into 8, so we can open a bracket here, 15, sorry, 15 into 8, okay, then add another bracket, that is 9 times 12, 9 times 12, so that would be the second one, so if we hit enter, so we'll get 2, 2, 8, so the maximum will be, Two two eight. That is two hundred and twenty eight dollars. Okay. 
so but i would like to show you something you know we have another point you could take so let's scroll down a little bit so if you take the maximum value of x to be 16 so that means the maximum value of y will be 8 so you have 16 against 8 so let me show you what you will get if you take this uh point so let's go back to here so instead of 15 so we're going to have 16 so it will be 16 uh, multiplied by 8 then plus uh, this will be 8 multiplied by 12 so this is what we're going to get so let's pick the calculator again so we can easily change the 15 to 16 so let's come here so instead of 15 so let's change it to 16 so multiplied by 8 then instead of 9 so let's change it to 8 okay so if you hit enter you get 224 so this will give us 224 dollars so you can see that this is better off okay so this is the end of the solution to question 8c of paper 42 um, written in may june 2024 so don't forget to check the uh, description um, section of the previous videos so i have updated the link there to download the new past paper until we meet again have your fingers crossed for my next solution to paper 43